Hi guys. Happy Monday. Okay, so I got a quick little story to tell you guys. Um, so I'm in a park now. It's dark. I'm getting I'm definitely getting ready to go home. But somebody asked me, they asked me, how do I find time to create? Let me tell you guys something. I take any opportunity to find time to create. I create in my sleep. I can see things in my head before I actually do them. So I can create in my head and I can see the actual vision in my head. And then from seeing the vision in my head, I'm able to create it in the physical, right? Um, I can create at a park when I'm with my kids and they're riding their bikes and their scooters. I can create on a metro bus. I don't care who's around me. I don't care who sees me. People are watching. I don't care. Like I'm in the zone. I am literally tunnel vision. I create at work. I could literally be typing up something and I'm doing steps in my head. I can create while I'm on the daggone elevator going up the escalator. Okay. I will stop dead tracks in the streets and something will come to me and I'm in the zone and I'm doing choreography in the street. And guess what? I don't care. People are going to look. They're going to look anyway. They always look in. But tunnel vision. Any opportunity to create. I'm at home. I'm creating. I'm, during the week, I'm creating. On the weekend, after class, I'm creating. Um, I take every opportunity to create because that vision and that art is just that important to me. It's life. I breathe it, smell it, feel it, touch it. It's me. So I just wanted to let you guys in on somebody asking me that question. How do I find time? I make the time. I have what? 24 hours within a day. Within that 24 hours within a day, I'm constantly always working on my craft. I'm always perfecting my craft. I am constantly putting life into my craft. Um, so I just wanted to share you guys, share that with you guys now. Um, I'm in a park right now. I just basically finished trying to create something. And um, sometimes it works. Sometimes I get something. And it doesn't fit. Here's the thing about creating. If you can come up with something in your head, right, and you do it, and let's just say I'm not looking in the mirror, but it feels right. And so I don't have to look into the mirror. It feels right. The dynamic feels right when I'm doing it without looking at myself, my movements, the, the, the dynamics in my movement. It feels right. If I have to force it, I'm back to the drawing board. If it's not right, if it's not fitting, boom, I'm cutting it, done. Moving on to the next. So that's my little lesson on creating dancer fit, creating movement, creating stories, creating vision. Um, and thank you for watching. Hi, Whitney.